the audio intercepts say what need to be said. Got my boy Shady McCoy in the building. Shady, what they do, baby? It's, it's like another locker room day with Asante Samuel. That's all it is, man. <laughs> Look, but we're going to get right into it, man. We got a big fight. We got this big fight coming up. We got this big fight going. Yeah. Coming July 29th, we got Errol Spence Jr. versus Terrence Bud Crawford. Yes. Errol, the truth, Spence Jr. Who you pick? Who you got? You're going to hate this answer because you know I keep it 100. You got to keep it 100. You on the audio reception, you got to say what needs to be said. I, I really don't know. That's a that's a true 50-50 fight. It's a true 50-50 fight. You know what I'm saying? Fight. Like, I was Everybody with uh, Adrian Brown, uh last weekend, right? And we were just talking about boxing. And uh, he picking he's picking Spence, right? It's his boy. But he was just saying how, like, Spence is bigger and stronger. He's going to break him down. But I was like, I agree with that. But then Crawford, he used to being small, right? He used to being small. And I'm, I'm learning from even, like, I try to put perspective you know in all sports. You know something. Yo, when you used to play in a certain way your whole life, mm -hmm. I'm cool being that size. So, mm -hmm. bro. And I guess don't what? know, dog. I've been fighting people his size my whole life. My whole life. Cool. Strong dudes hit hard. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I do think that uh, he probably Spence has fought the better fighters. And another thing, so I, I like to dive into what everybody's talking about, right? I right. learned from all the greats. So Tyson was like, yo, he said, look at all the the, the fights they had, the, the same fighters. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So Sean Porter, I watched that fight. Right. Sean Porter and Spence was so neck and neck. Right. And then, then he caught him with the left and dropped him, right? Yeah. That was the difference. But then I look at Bud. Right. But... They say, yo, you might be losing. Yeah, look, me lose. Man, Turn this shit up. Tip round, bang, going over. So I don't know. I like, I love Kel, Spence. Kel Brooks. Kel Brooks, another one. I love them both, bro. That 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 one. That that's the only but fight. Hold on, but they gonna say after, they gonna say after Spence. Oh, his draw, his eye and all that. All them. He gonna say he fought him after after Spence. It's a tough one. That's I mean, you true. box more than anybody. What you think? I, I'm, I'm waiting on your pick. What's your pick? You got it. You got it. Everybody that's 50 50 is coming down with a pick. You have to make a pick. Ah. Fight is coming up. And I'm you, going. You putting that money on it. How much money you putting on it? And who you Bro, picking? I'm a gambler. I lost 20 grand to Ryan Garcia against Tank. I should know better than that. One dude way better skill. Other dude just... I thought... You know what it is? Hold up. No, we're going to get to that. But, but, answer the question. Answer the question. I don't know, bro. I can't. I don't you know. You have to pick this bro, you the know, audience interception. I'm don't never, be scared. I'm, ne say, I'm never is, nervous. Is Shady scared to say what needs I'm, to be said? Yo. Don't let me know that LaShawn McCoy is scared to say what needs to be Listen, said on the art of interception. I can't believe The it. good thing is when you got a strong resume, people know you solid. They know I ain't scared. I, I just, I really can't pick. I want to gamble. I want to gamble. I just don't know. I don't know. Who to, I don't know. That's, 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 that's a hard one, dog. That's a hard one. So right I now, that's a hard fight one, tomorrow. Who you got? We ain't leaving till you pick. Spence or Crawford, bro? Bro. You've been in the boxing ring. You you, you got been, you got a little, a little experience. You, man, you, you chase me around for two rounds. An amateur, amateur boxer. <laughs> bro, I, I, I mean, I, I don't... You gotta pick. Bro. You gotta pick. If you pick Damn. between Garcia and Javante Davis, you gotta pick. Go. See, I thought that the way they, they freaking... The way they was moving Ryan, I couldn't see his deficiencies. You know what I'm saying? Bigger, I thought bigger, you know what I mean? All that. Okay. Man, he got that race could have was two different levels. So two you different think levels. Terrence Crawford small and he used to be in small. You think Eric he used to be in big and every time, every time Crawford fight, I bet on both of them. I bet on both of them every time. Everybody do. I did damn, let me think, bro. You got 10 seconds. 10. <laughs> nine. <laughs> eight. Seven. Uh, six, I can't five, know. I don't know. I don't know. Three. I'm gonna go with two. I got it. I got this. One. It's gonna it's hold on. Zero. I'm ready. It's gonna be a draw. Right, and then the big money fight is is, is the re, is the uh and who is that the rematch club? I got I got to see the fight. I got to see the fight. I got to see the fight to know who's picking the rematch club. Real rap, that's the truth. Um, who I'm gonna win? give y'all my answer when the fight coming up. So I'm gonna give you my answer. Like he say, he he, he talks some shit. He, he say uh he used to be in small and he used to fight in small and when you used to that, you know how to handle things and handle situations. So with all that being said. He has fought big fighters and moved around. I'm going yeah. with Terrence Crawford because yeah, but, but, I, think, but nice. I think what you said, he gonna know, he know how to adjust to certain situations. Yeah, Spence gonna bring that pressure. He might be losing on the rounds a little bit, but I think he gonna some way figure out how to finish it. But you know what I was thinking about is like Spence. I heard Spence can can he can box better than people think, right? But I've only seen one style. He gonna break you down. Coming, he's coming at you. Coming at no, but he can box, though. He, and I, he, and he, he, he can box, but, I, but I'm saying like the best place that we see is coming forward. That's what I'm saying. And I, when I look at Crawford, he can switch. He can move. He can box. It's tough, bro. <laughs> it's tough. And he got power both hands. And you scared to pick, Yo, choose a bet? I don't know, bro. They both nice to me. I love them both. They both like that. 
I don't, you know, I So call, you going to go to the whole fight and don't pick nobody? You know, that, that's like, that's real gamers. Real gamers wait to the last second home. They go to that counter. All right, well, then let's move on. They go to that counter. They that counter. Is scary is shady is scary on the So, now, nah, I got one disagreement with, 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 with Shady. I got one disagreement. Javante Davis. Yeah. He is like that. What is your problem with Javante? It ain't even a problem. The, the issue is. You think he not like that? People, the people, when you make an opinion about mine, people hate it. If it's not the popular, you know, pick. And it's not. When, I, when he fought Ryan Garcia, this is what I'm thinking in my head. From the way they move Ryan Garcia, he bigger, he stronger, he punch hard too. Right? I'm like, damn, he might have a chance to beat Tank. Now, I thought that Tank could possibly win the fight because he's a, he's a better fighter. He's a better talent. But you put that money on somebody, the Ben odds is with the underdog. It was close. I said, I'm going to take Ryan. Ryan and him is two different levels. I see that. But on Tank's part, though, I still feel strong that Tank hasn't fought nobody. Right? If we go through the, 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 his resume, um, I think that even in that division, 135, I think that he has what? Maybe the third best resume? Oh, what? That's the truth. What? Let's you talk. You fighting pro fighters. They fighting people in your division. Who you, who you want? Who do you want him to fight? And he fights everybody that's bigger than him. He's a small guy. He's adjusting and knocking fools out. What? He don't even be winning the rounds. And that's, that's like an exciting fighter. One you know, of the most exciting, exciting of our generation. Now what? It's like, I'm all about competing. You know what I'm saying? You are too. And whoever you put in front of me, I'm going I'm to I'm go against, right? Okay. okay. When I think about it, he, f- he fought uh, Ryan Garcia at a hydration claw, right? Can't rehydrate. As a ball player, how hard is that to play a He's game? He's a big guy. It's hard for him. Okay, that's why. Well, he didn't show no signs of weakness or uh, how, anything. What you mean? He looked, he, looked, he looked frail as hell in there. He was coming out that strong. Yeah, he yeah, wasn't yeah, tired. He didn't, about, look, hold on, hold on, hold on. he didn't look weak and tired. So let, let, okay, so it's your podcast, so I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna be I'm gonna let you you know handle it, but I'm gonna ask you some questions just real quick. Okay. As an athlete, as one of the top My athletes, co-host. right? As, as, <laughs> when when you playing and you can't rehydrate, how hard is that though to even practice? I'm gonna be tired. I'm gonna show no signs of energy. Weak. I'm gonna be, come out there weak. Okay, that's okay. All right. I'm not gonna so, be out there like him moving in. But I just but I just want to show the people that so they they because some people ain't athletes. So I'm telling you, as an athlete, you tell me I can't rehydrate. That's gonna be hard as hell to do, right? Right. You are gonna be weak. You don't have no energy. Okay, so you so say, all of, but wait, wait, if let me, you let me go finish? out there and you have energy and you're not weak, then what? How do you know that? How do you know? I'm just saying what I saw. Saying what you saw, but I'm asking you to say how you, how does it fail to be, you can't rehydrate. Okay, That's right. what I'm saying. Oh, I got So okay. people are understand that. I got So you say weak, not strong, right? Got okay. Mm-hmm. He fought Ryan, then he fought, when he got his belt, when he got his belt, uh, he fought uh, Mario Barrios, right? Mario Barrios, right? Mm-hmm. Another rehydration claw that people okay. don't know about. And when people want a big fight and a big name, fuck it. They sign it. It's the truth. I'm going to say what it is. Okay, so now, um, I guess if you people want to give you um, Isaac Cruz as a pit bull, as a, as a good fight or opponent, I'll give you that. I don't think so, but he's, he's decent. He's scared of death that he can touch uh, uh, Shakur. His daddy, the, the, uh, they, they, they made him the mandatory to fight each other. Yeah. That motherfucker said, oh, I can't fight Shakur. Ain't no reason. He's going to run around the whole fight. No, he ain't going to touch Shakur. But anyway, who else he fought? Uh, Santa Cruz, he came up two-way class to fight him. Santa Cruz came up two-way class to fight Javante. Okay. Who, 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 I, I actually thought that was going to be a, a hard fight for, for, for Javante. And that's what I'm saying. I mean, this man threw, threw a lot of punches. He, come at, he came up in, in, in weight class. Two-way two, two classes? But he adjusted. He demolished them. All I'm saying is, listen, I think, I think Tank's a great athlete. I think, he's a, I, think, I think he's a good boxer. I do. I just want to see him fight them top competition. We interviewed, I interviewed uh, Shakur a while ago. This is probably, like, I don't know. Maybe last year. I was like, yo, damn, what's up with you on Tank? Da, 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 da. You know? You know what he said? What? He said, Tank ain't going to take them type of fights no time soon. And now we're at the point where you can't fight Ryan Garcia and just fight another regular dude. So when, when he fight them type of guys... So it's one on. fighter for him to fight left. And not that's even Shakur, that. Shakur, Shakur Stevens, Devin Haney's, you got Lomachenko's. I, I, Devin I Haney. People, I think that that would be a good fight. That would be a good let, fight. Let's adjust. Let's move on. That would be a good you, fight. Since you brought up the name, and, and we, this is where we're going to end on the box situation. Okay. I we, love boxing. We've been in boxing. And I'm box. We've been debate, and our boy Frank, we got to get our boy Frank out here. We, 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 we just get to talk in this box because we like the okay. box. Vastly Loman Chico. We had this debate plenty of time. He is overrated to me. Overrated in his weight class currently. Like The lightweight right now, he shows no power. It's, it's, it's not what it's made up to be. Maybe he was a little better in the, the welterweight and the feather, the feather welterweight, uh, the feather welterweight, but as a lightweight, he is highly overrated. 
And de definitely Haney kicked his ass. The crowd was just wooing when, when Vasily was throwing punches and, 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 and blah, blah, blah. But we're going to move on from Boston. I ain't gonna give you a I chance. can't touch it. Okay, okay, go okay. ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, I mean, I mean, it's funny you call him a chick overrated. Sounds crazy. Yo, he one of the only few boxers that people would never even call him out, won't even say his name. You know that. For you to call him overrated sounds crazy. The footwork, the, come on, man. Come on, dog. That fake footwork, that little stuff ain't. I mean, no, nah, let me stop. Sorry. Sorry. Yo. Sorry. That was that's good footwork. But man. it's overrated. Nah. You ain't knocking these if, fools if, if, out. If we if, if we had other boxers in here. They wouldn't say that. They they probably would. Nah, they won't say that. I think I just I think I I I I I look at stuff to a higher detail okay. than okay. most people. Okay. But not but not now we got the New York media. You seen your boy ranting. You about were the New York media. I had, a, I, had, I had almost 30 calls about that job. Like, oh, I'm staying out of it. But I was watching it with my popcorn. Oh, he said that? Oh, he didn't say that. Oh, he went there. Oh, he went there. So I did see it. So the New York media. Yeah. I accuse them of marketing their players to greatness. I agree with that. You agree with that? I agree with that. So my statement seemed like I got a little majority opinion. People agree with me. The New York media got great marketing skills. Great marketing. Best place in America. So New York. Me and Reeves going at it. That's your hometown hero, homeboy. It's three of y'all. Y'all from uh, all from Pittsburgh, baby. Pittsburgh. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shout out to my dog, Ty Law. Yeah. Shout out to Reeves. Yeah. I mean, you they want to know. They want to know, man. What you think about the situation? Reeves saying your boy. I think. Well, this pick six going at it. I think he was tripping. Okay. Right? I think that. Uh, I think you had a point though with the New York media. Okay. I mean, I could tell you a name. I, I know. Uh, but, but, but let, let's let's stop there. If I'm tripping, how was I tripping? Man, I was tripping. all right. So first of all, um, you love to constantly bring up how, like, all right, even when we talk, mm -hmm. you were saying how if you don't get a certain amount of picks, how are you looked at as so great? Okay. That's your thing. And my thing is, I disagree. Okay. I watched Revis numerous of times, weeks and weeks and weeks, where whoever the best wide receiver is, if he's going for 1,600, 1,700, 1,800 yards a year, right, averaging 130, 40 yards a game, you play against him, you you getting 30, 40 yards. How can I not say that that's lockdown and you and he's not productive because he don't get picks? Okay, let me let me cut you right there. Oh, can no. I say my last statement before oh. you? Okay. I was blessed to play with a, a, a coach named Rex Ryan who coached Darrell Reeves. And uh, I always love to get like, good relations with the coaches, head mm -hmm. coaches, other than Chip Kelly. Mm -hmm. And I remember asking Rex, I'm like, yo, uh, you know, my pit guy, Reeves, we just having a conversation. And I was like, damn, man, what make Reeves so special in your defense? Because he's a defense specialist, they say, you know, mm -hmm. Rex Ryan. He said, Shady, you know Rex is real. Shady, that mother. I, listen, whoever the best player is, I could design everything else for all the other you know, off his weapons, because I know that he's going to lock him down the whole game. And my first time playing Revis, when the defense, when the office of, of Huddle is getting to play, the defense Huddle's getting to play, that everybody huddles up, right? I would see Revis stretching. I'm like, what, the, what is he doing? He's not even with his team in the huddle. And he would look. Every time we break, he's looking for the wide receiver. I said, oh, he don't even know the defense assignment. He just know that he got the best wide receiver on the team. Hello. That right there is, like, impressive to me. That's all okay. I'm saying. All right. Now, let me break this down. Bring it down, Because people take one statement, two statements, and don't understand. It's a whole breakdown to this stuff. You can't just be the best by one situation. No, you can't just be the best by interceptions. You have to be the best by not giving up yards, plus interceptions, plus pass breakups. That's the whole situation. So, if you're not making interceptions and you're just making pass breakups, your man is not catching the ball, that's good, but that don't make you elite. The elite ones, they stop their man from catching the ball and go catch the ball. So that's the difference. And to your situation with Rex Ryan, you go look up the stats mm -hmm. with Dion. Dion locks his man down, but he got 54 interceptions. Don't say they weren't throwing at Revis and they weren't throwing at Dion. How? What? What are we talking about? And here's the fact. Mm -hmm. The people that he was locking down that one great year, we got Randy Moss, Chad Ochocinco, Terrell Owens. They over 30. So Tory Holt, they're 31 years old. Terrell Owens, oh, we are really, you know what to know what really the island is? Patrick Sertain, I seen the stats. I, if it's true, them young boys, Terry, uh, what you call it for the watch, yep. if he shut them down to zero yards, McLaurin. Yep. That's different. You understand what you mean? I Hold do. on. You understand it? I, I you you know. gotta be different out there. There is players out there that follow the best players in the league every week. Sometimes they do good, sometimes they don't. 
Right. But to be great, you can't have one great year. If you take my, if you go year by year, mm -hmm. season by season, you ain't gonna find nobody better than me. Season by season, year by year, it's hands down. So how can you possibly say that somebody else is more productive than somebody else if you go season by season, year by year? Now what? How do you excuse that? Put Dion, put Charles, put Reeves, put Asante, put everybody. And then stop with the iron and stuff. Oh, they didn't throw no way. No, no, just get to the truth. Yo. And we're not taking nothing away. We wanna, we just here to, to set the standards and know the truth. And not you no, interceptions is not just the main thing. You have to have interceptions and not give the ball up. You wanted to bring up another point by the interception. Sure. So real quick, you mentioned all the older guys. What about what about Megatron? I watched him lock up Megatron. That's great. That's great. Yeah. I'm just saying. Like the dude, that's that, one game. But I'm just saying. So you got but, a but, whole but, 10 but, seasons. That's one game. But my, my question was. I had three interceptions, four pass breakups, and a game winning interceptions to win the game in one game. So I should be in the Hall of Fame for that? This is my question. My question is that if 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 these dudes is averaging, right, 130, 140 a game, and you come to my crib, you come and I come to wherever it is, where the game's at, and I play you, and now you you leaving with 30 yards and no touchdowns? Like, mm -hmm. It's, it's, Let me answer that question. Let me answer that question. Okay. That's a stat that you can just make you want to – let me tell you why. Like I said, there's a lot of cornerbacks covering one-on-one. -on -one. Your team can help you cover this man one-on-one. -on -one. But we'll show your coverage on this man locking him down one-on-one -on -one if you have five, six pass breakups and two interceptions. Not you locking him down and the ball went over there and you he, he ain't catching you locking him down and the ball went over there and y'all right there. No, you locking him down when you pass breakup. And here's another point. There was a lockdown corner. Everybody know this situation. He was all world, but he had to come play on the side of Mr. Pick Six. Oh, yeah, I was there for that. <laughs> But he was a lockdown but corner. But hold, but hold, hold up. Gave up 21 yards. It was all looking great. But hold on, right? hold on, hold on. And when you come play with a playmaker where they ain't going to throw the ball to because he's going to pick it, it's a difference. But, but hold on, hold on. Now, go ahead. Because you you, you skipped on what I'm saying. No, so, so I my thing, over nothing. All these wide receivers averaging these big yards, and every time they come see – You missed it. Hold the on, defense. Hold on. But listen to what I'm saying to you. The defense line, the pressure, the ball might go over there. How many pass breakups and how many interceptions do you have against that guy? That means the pass breakup means the ball went right to him and you broke it up and stopped him. But from you, had, you had like the Rebus played with, with, with some bums on the other side. Antonio Camardi was a hell of a wide receiver. Ten interceptions. You, you don't think he feels a certain way about all this? Some people just don't want to say nothing. No, I'm the one that says I, a I lot. See, I see him like certain things. It's, but he can't. But he, he, all these corners, when they see their name not on the list, we all competitive. Everybody feel Bruh, the way. I, I, I get it. I get, I'm I just, just the one that's going to say something. Because I'm Zach and yeah, I'm him. The, and the I thing. Have the resume to say something. Yeah. And I'm going to say it every time, baby. <laughs> nah, I mean, I think you're a great corner. I, 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 I know I'm a great corner. Because let me tell you, but I, I watch sorry it, to I, keep cutting you off. I, I watch that front. I got to cut you off one more time. Bro, and I got to set the record straight set for the up. fans. I got to set the record straight for the fans, the young players, the inspiring to be great players. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all listen to me close. <laughs> In order to be great, you got to research to understand what it takes to be great. You got to go look at the people before you and see what they did, what made them great. You can't walk in no stadium and think you're great because people telling you you're great. There are numerous greats ahead of you that is highly being disrespected. You understand what I'm saying? There's a lot of greats out there that you don't know about. So go research and understand what it takes to be great and then challenge yourself to achieve those great goals. That's how you be great. What other way can you be great, Shay? Now you're right. Now you're right. That's a good point. So what? So so, so why yo, is everybody around here acting like they they dumb, confused, and stupid? So let me ask you this then, right? So is Reeves great? He had one great season. I didn't ask you that. I asked you, is Reeves great? No. So Reeves is good. What is he? Just good? He's real good? <laughs> to me? He's, yeah, what to you? What is he? Just good? What is he? If he's great, then everybody that did what he did has to be great. I'm asking you, is Reeves no. he's just, I said no. So he's just good. Yeah, it was all right. It was all right. If, if, if great is having one great season, then you got to give it to everybody. It's, a, it's an even platform, right? You can't just do it to one person. So if one person can have a great season and be considered great, mm -hmm. that means Patrick Sertain is the all world of everything right now. But you, but you Because like he had the, the, one of the craziest seasons ever if the boys had zero yards. You understand what I'm saying? So it has to fit for everybody. Which it's an equal playing field. Playing field. I mean, field. But you act like Revis. He had a, he had about three years where it was like 
nobody ain't getting nothing on him. About three years running, you, bro. You, like you're just guessing now. You just I guessing. Win, I played. I was playing. I went to I, I didn't. I His was best there. year, he had six interceptions, thirty one pass breakups. You keep, right? keep talking. His, his second, his second best year, he had five interceptions with. 20. He yeah. has a total of 29 every, every, but How every number, good can that but possibly every, be? Everything, you, everything you come down to is picks, right? One more thing, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. Everything comes down to picks because I keep saying interception, right? Interception is the best single play you can make as a defensive player. Understand that. Not a sack fumble recovery that's three steps interception is the best single play you can provide for your team it's an instant turnover right there with the ball for your team not three downs and you stop them and they kick the ball way down and and you get the ball on your one line yard line you gotta go 99 yards intercepting the ball right there is the best single play you can make on the defense. What if you're not presented the opportunity? We're not we're not throwing at Revis. I got a better story though. So uh, so 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So look, look. You got excuses like everybody hey, else. Yo, so so in two thousand You play with me, everybody get thrown at. You know that. Yo, in two thousand and uh thirteen, we you're in two thousand eleven, I'm lying. Two thousand eleven, uh we played um nine, ten, eleven, that's when it was. Mm. We played the, the Jets at home. We okay. blew, we blew them out. You remember this game? Mm. Your boy got busy. I got off. But anyway, we we blew them out. But I remember that that game plan, uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. We wasn't throwing at 24. You ain't throwing at 24. That was a game plan. I'm, I'm not saying, but great or not great, but you got to be great enough where the whole week, and we had dog. We had Deshaun Jackson, and we had Jeremy Macklin. Did you throw oh, at him? Oh, no, did, no, no, no. did you throw at him? Yo, the game plan was, and at this time, let me tell the viewers out there, just to give you some insight, at this time, each year from 2010, 11, skip 12, and 13, the Eagles, we were setting our, we were setting up the most yards in a season. I'm about to call DJ. Okay. I'm about no, to call DJ. DJ was, was great. DJ, I mean, come hey, on. You said they were saying on but, 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 DJ probably got something different to say. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, all I'm saying is that the game plan, right? We wasn't trying to throw at 24. Okay. Whatever you want to put it. Jack is a dog. We 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 go on at Jack. How many teams you but, think didn't want to throw so, at me? So, so all, I'm, all, I, all, I, all I'm saying is that for you to say because he's not getting picks, he's not getting an opportunity. We're not even going. We're not even going over there. Okay. So that so, matters. So, does that matter? Yeah, it matters. Okay. But I'm gonna mess right. you up. All right. Everybody says. Everybody says Deion Sanders didn't get the opportunities. Nobody threw his way. Right? Can we cut this? Deion has 54, or 53, 54, 55 interceptions. He didn't get the opportunities. Less than anybody else in the world, right? Deion, prime coach, prime. Mm -hmm. But he still gets 54 interceptions. Who, who, who? My, I don't get the ball thrown at me that much. Y'all are not going to say that. But guess what I do? When I don't get the ball thrown at me, and you're a witness of this, Deshaun. LaShawn, I meant, sorry. I find another way to get an interception. It's not just coming to my man when I get the interception. Right. So anything you make an excuse for, I'm that's not, why it's I'm not. called excuses. When you make it excuses, it's like an ass. Everybody got one. <laughs> you but know I, what I mean? But how's the excuse? I'm going to get the ball but if I you was, throw it at me or not. But I was there when it, I was there for the game plan. So it's like, I was there. And what everybody say before the game to Zunt? What they coming up and saying? But Tom, Zunt, you finna get three today. You finna get two today. What they going to say to somebody else? You finna lock him down today. What would you rather have? What you rather your teammates say to you? You finna lock him down today or you finna get three today? I, I want picks. Because I want to get the ball, but I don't, I, you know, so, I get. So, it's but, a, hold on, that's the other thing. Is this whole man to man facade lock him down. First of all, it's a facade who sometimes the number one player is on the team. Let me go back to that. Tory Holt was on them, right? This is me and Bel Belichick. Me and Belichick, he used to have his secret, he had his secret meeting with me because he didn't want me to play domino, right? <laughs> so, he bring up Tory Holt. We got to play the Rams. He tells me, all right, let's watch out for Tory Holt. He fast, he ain't number one receiver. I say, Coach Belichick, he's not fast. He's not fast to me. And instantly, we going at it. Because he want me to think he's fast, and I'm telling you he's not. So what are we talking about? That man wasn't fast at that time. So we're just throwing names. You're not really thinking about the actual situation. When Tory Holt was wrong, when they had Marshall Fall, yeah, Kirk yeah. Warner, all Isaac, that. Isaac Bruce. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So what are we talking about? Sticking man to man, locking him down is just a big overstated thing, like, it's, I'm telling you, get the ball, get the turnover, so the coach can get Shady the ball, and Shady can score the ball. Can I ask you this? Can two different things 
be true? Yeah, good coverage and intercepting the ball. Okay, so so him having good coverage and then and then you getting picked. He have good coverage. So my, yeah. my, my so so that in my eyes that looked at as both being great. There are a lot my, of people. One, one, one guy, one guy great, get picked. Great, great. One guy shut down. It's not down. about me and him. It's not about no, no, no. Me no. And I'm, 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 I'm saying in general. I'm saying Make in general. sure they understand. Make sure we understand. Oh, oh, no, it's, it's not about me and him. No, nah, it's not. It's about everything. Yeah. It's a lot of people out there that is locking down the receiver. To order to be great. You have to separate yourself to do things that other people are not doing. That's how but, you're but, great. But, but everybody's not locking down the number one each week. Everybody's not locking down. All, we all, can't say all, he locked down not, each week. All, he did it for one year. Every, he played we, for 10 plus we, seasons. We, we can't say that every time you're locking down an all-pro wide receiver each week. That, that's greatness right there. Every offensive player, every offensive team, right? For ten years, he every, did that. Every, well, how long? Tell me how long. He had about he had about a good four to five year run where he was it was he was him. For example, now, that's why that's why they say stats. They say you can't look at stats. For, for example, prove, you can look up stats to prove up everything. You look up stats, see how much yards you gave up, see how stats, how many interceptions you gave, how many interceptions you got, how many pass breakups you got. So that's why you go to the stats. So we remember this. He okay. said five years where he was about, locking down about four. So to we five, gonna look up the four, top four about, to five years where he gave about, up yards. You about, can look up how many yards I gave up four or five years. You can look up everything. But well, so that's how you get okay, the bottom let me, let me to the facts instead of just assuming about, things. About four to five years where he was him. I get the stats part. But what the stats is not going to show you is that, listen, our, our number one wide receiver, I'm an offensive dude, our number one wide receiver is going to get Revis. We are not going to throw his way. And then we hold up. When we look to throw his way, his ass is covered. We're not going over there. We're going over this way. So my thing is, he's talking about breakups, picks, and all that. But if the quarterback's not even going to his, his receiver because he's locked up, there's not going to be a stat for that. There's not going to be a stat for that. Hey, Shady. Hold up the pet brother right there. Shady, <laughs> Ty Long, and Chad is the only people I allowed to cuss me out for uh, for free this, man. You know what I mean? But, yo, but, so, I, but it's, it's, all not, good, it's not y'all too. It's, it's but not y'all about both, us. Y'all it's great, not though. About us. It's not about us. When I, when I play my with Sante, he was shutting shut, shut down, you too. Gotta, you got to understand. I come in the league. I'm watching great. Champ Baby. Charles Wilson, Ty Law. Yeah, right. Don't get you want me to say I'm looking at greatness when I just saw this? Like y'all are confused. But we are gonna move on. That's a good. That's a good point. That's a great point. Because y'all are media driven, right? The media will. I, no, the media no, 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 will no, no. tell you. I, that's I, the only way y'all know about but, the. But hold on. I I agree with, with with the media though. Right. I I, I learned that like especially in New York market, a dude named Rashad Jennings. You know what that is? Yeah, the running back for he used to play for the Giants. Okay, you do know. All right. Yeah. He was dancing with the stars. Mm-hmm. How is that? That's New that York happen? media. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I'm with you when it comes to New York media. They, they mm-hmm. will blow all type players up. So I agree with that. Odell Beckham, I think he's a great talent. Yeah. If he make that one catch in Buffalo, you never they're going to make it. a great catch. It's not going to be, you know. So I do agree ever. with that. I do agree with the media. Okay. Well, well since we're talking about New York media, we're going we gonna to stick to the New York media. So, Shady, Yo. my dog eligible for the Hall of Fame. No, not, not, not yet. 2026. Is that what it is? Well, it's, 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 it's five years after, right? I, I stopped Seven or something. Okay. They say 2026. Oh, my, my, my last year was what, 2020? So I got to. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, yeah. That's yeah. what it came yeah, out okay. with. Yeah. Well, so, you know what I mean? That's so, good. Uh, We're we going to go through some numbers. Okay. First all right. of all, all right. are you a Hall of Fame? Easy. Easy. Talk Easy. that shit Easy. to us, Shady. That's the truth, though. Whatever you want to hear, it's, I'm going to tell you the truth. Yeah, uh, what you want to know about? All right. So you had over 11,000 yards mm-hmm. rushing. Yep. Why are you a Hall of Famer? So, all together, I got 15,000 yards. Right? All right. I, got well, we, I want to stick to rushing. That's why. I want to see your rushing part of it. When you talking about Hall of Fame, you're talking about everything. Yeah, but I'm, part I'm sticking to one part right now. I mean, you can't do that. I can't. I, we can't argue one part of the game. I did everything. We can get to the next. That's part of it. Right, but I so, want to start with this part okay, of running. Okay, go ahead. Okay, we'll do that. If you want to do that, we'll So, do you that. got over 11,000 mm-hmm. yards. Mm-hmm. Is that rushing yard? Is that Hall of Fame potential? Yes. Great. Right? I, I just... Only thing is, so when it comes to me, my skill level is different than a lot of these dudes, right? right. A lot of these only thing they can do is rush the ball. Right. So when I when you ask me about, oh, well, when can stick with rushing, I can't because I'm a I'm a playmaker, right? I'm a find a way to get the ball. My first two years with Andy Reid, you know, they they wasn't trying to. My first three years for we weren't running the ball. Playmaker. You know this. We got it. Boy, y'all buy. I gotta boy. get the ball somewhere. Are y'all buys with this uh, so, cover so, and, so, so, and playmaking ability. But go ahead. I'm just saying. <laughs> so like when 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 a lot of dudes are getting 25 carries a game, Andy Reid ain't doing that. He ain't doing that back then. He ain't doing that now. All right. I gotta get the yards. 
Okay, cool. You want to give me 11 carries and, 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 uh, and, and four fastest? I'm, I'm going to get busy. I'm going to get over 100 yards. Right. So when I talked about Hall of Fame, first of all, let's just rank uh-huh. on the resume. Right. When you talk 15, about Hall of Fame. 15, Hall of Fame, 15,000 yards, all purpose. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Don't fast 90, forward. 90 Don't, touchdowns. You fast forward to my, my, my storyline. Okay. Get to, le- get to 11, it. 11,000 yards. I'm ready, Rush. baby. 11,000 yeah. yards rushing. Yeah, that's right. Your, your, your Hall of Fame, are you first ballot? Ah, I don't know. Terrell Owens didn't make hot first ballot, so. And you don't think something is wrong with that? That's, of course. Right, so that's so, what we're here for. But what I'm saying the, is that the, I, I can't say that. The I, standards in the system, we didn't even know what it, make de, what it takes to make it there. I mean, but this is how detailed your boy is. See, this is what y'all don't understand. So when I come talk my shit, y'all don't understand who y'all dealing with. I'm a very detailed, and I get down to the whole bottom of, of things, right? See, that's why I stopped my boy at the rush, because he can talk his shit for the past. I'm going I'm to I'm have his back for the rush, right? So we got the New York media. We got Curtis Martin. Okay. One of the greatest to ever do it. You know he went to school at, right? Pittsburgh. Come on now. That's what we do. Your dog. That's what we do. But, but, but listen to this, right? 14,000 yards rush. Okay. Beast mode. That's crazy, right? Right. 14,000 yards rush. He's a Hall of Fame. So I'm, I'm, I'm saying why Shady should be in the Hall of Fame, right? Shady got 11,000 yards rush. Curtis Martin had nine seasons with 300 carries. Shady had one year with 300 carries. Curtis Martin never had an average of five yards per carry. Shady had three years with over five yards per carry. And when he got them 300 yards, 300 carries, he went over 1,600 yards. Led the league in rushing. Let the league and rush. Got to rush. Now, do you know it? these things about yourself? I don't know. I didn't. You see what I'm saying? I, I know y'all the way you break. Y'all talk to me because y'all don't research. Y'all just talk about what they saying. Y'all don't do y'all research. I do the research. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? No, That's I mean, different. When I step on that field of the field, Eagles and I call you out and I call Andy Reid yeah. out, I'm doing my research. I know what needs to be done. Right. He did that a lot, too. Did that a lot. I mean, and also in the Hall of Fame, it's like, yo, if you look at like like resumes, because you like to talk about resumes. When I look at my resume against these other Don't talk dudes, the accolade shit, that popularity contest shit. I'm a, that shit no, I'm not, I'm not, but I'm just saying though, so like oh I like I like to always look at yo and your and your time and your error, what was you to the league? Right? What was you to the league? So when I when I look at all these different dudes, like they were comparing me with so all the all decade teams, right? I'm all decade running back. With my error, I was the top back of my joint. You had me, you had Frank Gore, you had Adrian Pierce, you had oh um and B Smoke. B Smoke. Now you talk about media. B Smoke, I think, is a hell of a player, right? Right. But people fail to realize that B Smoke, they played for Buffalo. Mm-hmm. And that was an okay time. He was, right. you didn't know, you know? How many different teams can you be successful at? That's another thing. That's another thing as a Hall so, of Famer, so right? So I look at B Smoke, like, yo, they, 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 he gets all his attention for the stuff he does off the field and all that and his and the interviews. And that's cool. And I, he was a good running back, but it's like, yeah, he was definitely let's, a beast. But, but let's but look he was at, at a different team. Let's look it. at it, though. I see what you're saying. Where, where, I see what you're saying. I left Philadelphia, right? They just got a thousand yard rusher last year. Mm-hmm. I've been going. I've been going for years. Mm-hmm. Buffalo. They haven't had a thousand yard rusher since I left. Mm-hmm. So I was like, what's the impact? Right. Ezra James. I think he's a great running back. Right. Right. I know you, Florida guy. Y'all love each other. Mm-hmm. But when he left, the first year he left, a guy named Joseph Adai did the same, same thing. thing. They never. They never missed a beat. So how can I say that I'm so impactful as a running back, as a player, if soon I leave? The next dude does the same thing or better. Jeez. You get what I'm saying? That's more points for me, too. Come on, man. Thank you for them points, man. See, we yeah, make, we're making good points for oh, each other. Oh, you're my other, big brother. You know you're my big brother. So now as a coordinator, I can't even, like, if I'm picking plays for Shady, but damn, he's supposed to be so great. Now I'll the same play for him. He's doing the same thing. Mm-hmm. Where's my value at? I can, No team can never say that. Can never say never. that. You got a ball everywhere you go, any and situation. That's, and that's why when you watch the Eagles game, you will never see a 25 jersey on the field. Because my impact is for real. For real. Uh, it's the truth. That's true. That's true. You got to have an impact out there. You want to make it to, on, the, bro, to like, the Hall of Fame. I, but see, it's a lot of dudes that, that I don't think should be on there. Right? Since we talking about it, now you got me in my bag. Yeah. Right? Like Terrell Davis. I think Terrell Davis is good. I think he was a hell of a player. Mm-hmm. But he don't even have over 10,000. He in the Hall of Fame. He had some good years. Mm-hmm. Another thing I want to talk about, who's around you? Mm-hmm. I played with the Eagles when I had Deshaun and Macklin. Like, oh, Easier your yards. Mm-hmm. They leave. Oh my God! Well, some of these dudes got all these weapons, like the like the Colts. Let's talk about it for a second. I just seen Portis like two weeks ago. We was you know having our back and forth. Who's the best and all that? But we was talking about because he, he brings up Edge. I'm like, yo, Edge is nice, but like, yo, he had he had an all coast team in his year. You got Peyton Manning for one. You got Marvin Harrison and you got uh, uh, Reggie Wayne. Yeah. 
I thought I thought Ezra was nice. I, I, I hear your we, point. We hear, we hear him saying I, I hear your point. I see we say come somebody on. come behind you and do the same thing. I mean, like, I'm just saying, like, we coming to that game or we come, who, who we coming to stop? Got Hall of Fame everywhere. Like, I'm, I'm just saying, Frank Gore put me on that. He put Frank Gore was the biggest thing. He was like, yo, he, he, when he talks about different players and, yeah. and, and uh, I mean, uh, Le'Veon, we was going about, about to him. and all this. He's like, yo, who's around these dudes? I put y'all on Le'Veon, too. Y'all was like, he this and that. I'm like, man, he sit behind the line too long, man. And we argued. I was like, watch the season when he goes to the Jets. Frank, yeah, he told he me. I said, when he go to the Jets and go to another team, yes. watch what happens. And you were right. That's why I'm scared for like dudes that be like trying to sit out the whole year. I'm like, bro. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because you get rusty. You know what I'm saying? And you trying to come in the... You can't do that. Yeah. Would you ever do something like that? I know you about your paper, though. You made a lot of money. You do something like that. Uh, come on, sit out the season? Yeah. To get a contract? I, you, you know I held out. Not for a whole year. Oh, not a whole year. No, you see no, what I'm saying? Oh, I'm yeah, about- yeah, yeah. A whole year, yeah, that, that's tough. Because yeah, no, then you ain't making no bread. Yeah, you ain't getting no bread. <laughs> you're, getting, you're getting bad advice. You can't do that. You can't get bad advice. That, that, was, that was bad advice. But, yeah, uh, man, come on. So now we, I, I, broke it down, I broke it down, the running game and the stats, you know what I mean? Because that's the only thing you can do when you want to figure out who's great. You go to the stats. And the fools are talking about it and the stats don't show everything. Yeah, they do. You, all you need to know what type of player he was and who he played for. Right. The stats will show you how many yards he got caught on him. Let me ask you, when I be talking to a lot of wide receivers, they they never put Tyreek Hill in the top tier, top five. And I'm thinking, like, let me talk, ask one of the best corners to ever do it. Yeah. Why do they do that? Because I think they, again, they're blinded by uh, what a lot of people say. You know, he might not be physically, prototypically right. the type of receiver. Yeah. But he is killing the yards in the league. What are we thinking? With, without one of the top, well, he had one with Mahomes, obviously. And the speed is obviously showing is why he's going to. Is he the best route runner? No. Is right. he the, make the best catches? No. Is he the most productive? Yes. yes. See, that's my issue. My issue when I ask wide receivers, I won't name them all, but I want wide receivers, they never put him in the top five. So I'm like, yo, how are we missing Tyreek Hill? And they right. say, because as a wide receiver, right, he don't have all the. Um, the things that you want, like maybe the releases or this and that. that. What they got but to do I, with but I be saying, so what about him getting busy? Because he gets busy everywhere he goes with any quarterback. That would be my number one pick. Speed. Right. <laughs> I don't know what his GM's been doing. I'm drafting speed. Speed. I ain't never finna have a possession receiver. I'm finna trade you as soon as I get it. I need speed. Mm. And let me go back to, uh, I was, was talking about the New York meeting. Now, the rest of y'all and all that stuff. When I used to be screaming at Coach Reed, I remember this. Give Shady the ball. Yeah, yes, you did. Yes. This ain't fancy football. Give my boy the ball. <laughs> Do you think they used to make him throw the ball more when I used to say that? Probably. I don't know. They want to throw the ball. It's Andy yeah, Reed. Yeah. You know, one time he told me, I'm like, Coach, this is now. This is, I got a name. I'm like, Coach, damn, let me get the ball. Right. He said, like, you can't go to heaven if you run the ball too much. <laughs> he would tell me that. That's Andy Reed. Dang, that's I love cold. Andy, though. We all love Andy Reid. We all love Andy Reid, man. We all love Can we get Andy. to see your boy Belichick? Oh, that's next right there. But, 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 but before we get to Belichick, <laughs> who are you predicting to, uh, to lead the uh, league in rushing yards? I got a few names for you. Okay. We got Josh Jacobs. I love Josh Jacobs. Derrick Henry. Nick Chubb. Nick's nice. Shaquan Barkley. All the rookies. You know, now, all all right, I'll, I'll, my top three to lead the league in rushing, I'm going with um, Josh Jacobs. I think he's a phenomenal player and, and Raiders stopped playing with him. I talked to him a couple weeks ago. Who that? Josh Jacobs. Josh Jacobs. Oh, okay. Get that man a, a solid deal. Come on, y'all, y'all, y'all tripping. Uh Henry's always in, in the top of of you know leading the league. He's always up there, right? Somehow, some way. But I'm gonna go with something different. I'm gonna go with uh Jonathan Taylor. Mm-hmm. People forget he, you know, he got banged up last year. You know, they, the quarterback they had me and you throwing the ball at the quarterback over there, they had no real quarterback. I think he gonna have a chance to be they're gonna run the ball a lot. Got a rookie quarterback now. Mm-hmm. He might chance the league in Russia. He's like that. Mm-hmm. Those okay. are my three. That's your three right there. Name them again. Josh Jacobs. You got um, Jonathan Taylor, and uh, I mean, always I think that um, Derrick Henry is always up there to get possibly be lead the league in Russia. Yeah. All right. All right. And then Nick Chubb's too though. Nick Chubb. I love Nick Chubb's game. Nick Chubb, yeah. He's the type of dude. They got who's a like crazy running game over. Now they got Deshaun Watson. You better. It's like he got like a. Uh, he remind me of like the uh, the mannequin. Yeah. He don't look a certain way, but boy, he get that ball, he be, he be toting though. Totally, yeah. right? I, I, love, I, love, I love his game. Yeah, I love yeah, his yeah. game. Oh, my boy, DeAndre Swift, he probably won't lead the league in rushing. Yeah. Because they're going to probably, you know, um, they got him and uh, 
He split splitting carries. Yeah. Right. But dog, I always said he's a top five talent. Strong, quick, explosive, shake you, run you over, stiff arm you, can catch the ball, make you miss, run routes. Mm-hmm. He has DeAndre Swift has top five talent. Now he in the offense where they gonna utilize him the right way. He in Detroit. Only thing is he gotta stay healthy. He been off the field a lot with injuries. I think it's a payday this year. He know it. He on the right team, right lineman. He gonna ball out. Good quarterback. So he's another one to watch out for. All right, and we know who your super. We know who our Super Bowl picks is. I did one on the last episode. We already know who you got. Who you got? Who you got? We got the Eagles, man. The Eagles. Who else? Who else? Eagles in. I, I got the Eagles in uh, KC. She's going back? Going okay. back. Okay. Oh, back to back super? Okay, yeah. all right, okay. I, I got it going back to back, right? So, um, but obviously, I, oh, I want the Chargers to win. You know what I mean? I want, oh, I want oh, baby. To, oh, yeah, I for want, sure. I want Junior to get a Super Bowl Shout out to Junior. That's right. That's right. You know what I mean? So, uh, I got a crazy question for you. A crazy question for you. We know who we want to win the Super Bowl. We already know that. Yeah. Me and Shady. What will it take for the Dallas Cowboys to win the Super Bowl? They need a real quick. Let me rephrase this. We got two teams. Two teams that I say exactly the like. You got the Miami Dolphins and the Dallas Cowboys. I think they're two complete teams with one factor that may be that everybody's talking about. What will, we're going to start with the Dallas Cowboys. What is stopping or what does the Cow- Dallas Cowboys need to win the Super Bowl? They need a real quarterback. I think that Prescott is, uh, I think he's good. I don't think he's a, a winner. I don't think he's that quarterback that's going to push you to that that other level. Or maybe they take some of the, the, the pressure or, or the ball out of his hands and maybe they run it more. But then again, you can't because you pay a dude so much money at quarterback. Mm-hmm. He make a lot of money, right? Right, right, right. You go out there, you get, now you got two number one wide receivers, mm-hmm. C.D. Lamb, all pro last year, the hell of a job. Then you go Brandon Cooks, hell of a job. You got a top five, top three, top five defense. You got dudes that get picks, Trevon Diggs in the mm-hmm. back, right? Mm-hmm. And they just got uh, uh, um, um, Stephon Gilmore. Mm-hmm. Secondary's loaded. Ooh. And then up front, Michael Parsons. He's mm-hmm. from my hood. Ever tell you that? Uh, no, I From my that. city, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's like, what else you need? They got everything. Every year, every so time, hold on, every time it's a big game, right? Right? Big game. It's the same main factor why they lose. The quarterback. Last year, it was San Francisco. And, and San Francisco was Niners. Mm-hmm. Niners was averaging 30 points a game. Cowboys shutting down the 19. And they only got 19 because Dak threw two picks in the red zone, right? Then they scored. <laughs> the year before that, he loses the game in Dallas against San Fran. So when I look at, when I really do my research, right? Analyze the game, the lacking part or position of that team is the quarterback. And if they don't move on, on off of him, I don't see them winning no championship, no matter how much talent they got. Well, the Ravens won a championship with a great defense. How old, how long ago was that? Uh, Football's different now. So, so you, football different now. So, no way the team could pick it up around him. And, Ain't and, no. Yeah. If you look at the last championships, right? Just you don't see that no more. You don't see, you don't see a defense. great running game, a, a regular quarterback. So you saying that's not true no more? Defense don't win. Offense win games and defense don't Bro, win championships. You, you talking about 20, 21, 2001, two thousand? That's the Ravens defense. Ray Lewis on dudes. Just, wow. And, and Trent Dilfer, was it Trent Dilfer the quarterback? Yeah. Trent Come on, Dilfer. man. Them days over. You can't find a more Trent Dilfer winning championships. Let's go there for a second, though, right? The last championship last year was Patrick Mahomes. We know what he is. Yeah. The year after, before that was Ma- M- Matthew Stafford. Look at his resume. We know what he is. Yeah. The year after Tom Brady. We all know what he is. Right. If you don't know, as Belichick. The year after that, or before that, Patrick Mahomes again. You get what I'm saying? You yeah. gotta have a solid quarterback and a solid offense to win nowadays. That's 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 the new that's formula. Dang, right? That, it, oh, I, that I, old I, school. I, I think about we that. Play great defense, we run about that. Oh, that's dead. That's over with. That's gone. Really? The game? Yeah, it's over with. What about the Dolphins? Because I think the Dolphins got a complete team, but you know the X factor. I I, I, I like them to. The only thing I think is, is hurting them, the AFC East, which they got. Oh, yeah. You got the Jets. I think it's the hardest, the hardest division in football, that or AFC North. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got the Bills, who've been leading that d- division for the last three years. The Ravens is going to be really good this year. And then you got Aaron Rodgers. The Jets is going to be good. The Jets was battling. But with- is Aaron Rodgers really going to step up like that? In the playoffs and crunch time and crunch situation, or is he gonna fold? Is he gonna come over there with the ego? Yeah. Is he gonna be uh, um, who I am? Don't talk to me, or or is he gonna come out there and motivate everybody? Yeah. How Tom Brady do it, baby? Oh, he oh boy, I'm so glad you got to play with Tom. No, he Brady, ain't, he ain't no Tom. Tom. Tom is a different special player on and off the field. 
But I will say this about Aaron Rodgers, though, right? Because I, I like A-Rod, but I'm tough on A-Rod. I don't, I don't fall into that. He's a great player. I think he's great, but I still grade him like every other player. Right. Because in the postseason, he bullshits. Oh, my goodness. He, bo- he does great in the, pro- in the role regular season. He plays great playoffs. He loses. First season, that, all that. That's what people understand. But I will say this about A-Rod. Like, um, watching his, his watch his new attitude with the players and the Jets, like he's happy to be there again. You know, he's, he's out on his town with all these young players who A-Rod never really did that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's not what he's saying. He's going to OTAs, mini camps. He's never done that. You see what I'm saying? Right. And I feel like he so got. So he's being different. Yeah, he's and he got, and he got talent up there. He got some talent. Yeah. He got yeah. some young boys up there. Uh, uh, I like that receiver, Garrett. Yeah. Garrett. Garrett Wilson, though? Yeah. He liked that. And, it's, like and you always know, my, I always say, my, your second year is always your best development year. Right. Rookie year because you just happy to be there. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, oh, damn, now I know where I'm at. But, like, but not for Tom. I mean, well. <laughs> I mean. So, so. You know, so I, I do think that uh, A-Rod, I think he'll help him out. And the t- yo, the defense is crazy. Defense they, was compete- crazy. they was competing with Zach Wilson at quarterback. That is crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Come on. So, like, so we, yeah. he's so bad. Zach Wilson's so bad that there was games where the offense didn't Dude, have no crazy. yards in the second half. How do you do that? In the league? I agree. I agree. So, so I do think they're going to be good, bro. They're going to be good. All right. And yeah, the way we're with the Dolphins, though. So you yeah, like questions, Dolphins? I like two. I like their team. I like the cornerback duo. Uh, mm. duo uh, it's gonna be crazy. That's one of the best I, du- cornerback duels in the league for sure. I and mean, I got them in my top five. Are them are them dudes? They they, they solid lockdowns. Oh yeah. Okay, I mean, okay. I mean, into the league, in the league, yeah. They okay, won. Okay. I got them. Okay. I got uh, the Philly. I got the Jets. I, you know, what I mean, I had a uh, few other people in my top five. I can't okay. Think okay. Here. Okay. Cowboys, how they should be in there. So, but so, but but but, but the Dolphins, I, it's, it's too hard for the division. Nah, they, I think it'll be good. They got, they, yo, they got talent. Can they compete? And their coach is great. They had a good coach, That's smart as hell. Coach Only thing though. is though, it's on tour. He's yeah. so fragile. Like every, yeah. he's always hurt. But the backup, Mike White, is he still there? I mean, yeah. Mike White, he's alright. He's cool. Hey, hey. He's like up and down. I like that speed though, man. But it's gonna be tough. That speed, yo. And another thing about the games is that, like, yo, when that speed, he can do so much. Right. He be throwing screens. He's creative. Things. He creative though. Ooh, I like and him, a lot bro. of that comes from that Shanahan background. So yeah. I love it. I love the I love the Dolphins. Yeah. I do like Dolphins. Yeah, I like the Dolphins. But it's on tour. Same thing with Cap. It's on right. tour. You got to deal with them Bills, McDermott, there, man. McDermott doing his thing. Exactly. But the Bills, I'm gonna keep it real. They got a lot going on. Yeah. They got a lot of chaos with, with, in between. Players, mm-hmm. Josh and Stefan, you see that? Right, right, right. See and you that. need them to. Them dudes, great players, both right, of them. And right. they lost a lot on defense. Again, though, you go draft some more speed. You all right? But, speed. but you still got to run routes, though. You still got to be decent, right? Catch but the ball. What did they say about like, Tyreek? No, not, no. Yeah, Tyreek so yeah, fast. Yeah, no, they, they say that. But one thing about Tyreek Hill that, I, that when playing with him, I watch him, I'm like, oh, wow. He tracks that ball. Though. A lot of dudes can't track the ball. The best yeah. I ever seen do it was Deshaun Jackson. Right. That's another He's tracking that ball. And he's you grab him, pull him, he's still, he's still fine. He's so fast, you don't even realize it. Like, he can get up. <laughs> he get up on you, right? Right. It's so smooth and boom. Yeah. And you don't even break down. All right, so now, you know, it's a little tension going on. How much longer do I boy uh, Bill Belichick got? Oh, you know what I say about Bill Belichick? How much longer does Bill Belichick uh, got as the head coach of the New England? Help me out with this one up, because right. I'm trying to figure it out. Even though I think that the, the success of the Patriots, a lot of it is Tom Brady, mm-hmm. and they had a lot of good good ass players. People forget that. Like I know it's all, they all they they see all Belichick. When that defense, bro, when I sit there and, and look at the names, I'm like, damn, a lot of dogs. Right. But he gonna get all the credit for it. But my thing is, my 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 help I need is like, okay, when a coach has that much success, is it a thing where we gotta mutually like, all right, I can't fire I can't fire you because you did so much to this franchise. You know what I'm saying? Which you know you should be fired, mm-hmm. but I can't do it. You think Kraft is because you know him better than I do. Bill, let's just go our separate way, mutually do it. Um, I think, yeah, it would be something like that where it's like uh, maybe, you know, you could still be consulting or something like that. Right. But I think, I feel like Kraft has, has had enough. I think it's been tension going on for a long time. They said Tom and, and Belichick haven't had dinner in 20 years. So The man won the championship, he didn't even congratulate him on. That's crazy. I'm, I'm like, y'all serious? Yeah. He's a different type of individual, and people don't understand that. And one thing you was trying to say, what were you saying early? Belichick do prepare. His- oh no! Nah, so a lot of players, they, they, a lot of players that I know from the Patriots, even, not even you, it was other mm-hmm. dudes. It was like they do a lot of them say that Tom was the main dude over there. But right. they say Belichick, he's great at preparing dudes for games, knowing what you got, you know who you're facing, mm-hmm. and I, I can see that. Right. I don't, I don't think he's the greatest coach of all time. Right. I was telling dudes the other day. Andy Reid, no matter who the quarterback is, mm. they gonna be solid. No matter the team. No matter the team. Let me give you some more information for Belichick. I just found this out. 
They be on me. Belichick went to Cleveland. Oh, I know this story. Come on. No, 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 no. You, okay. you probably don't know this. Okay, go ahead. Belichick went to Cleveland. When he went to, before he went to Cleveland, they made it to the playoffs. Right. Four out of five four, yep. times. Yep. When he got to Cleveland, they missed the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Four yep. out of he five been one time. times. Yep, yep, yep. So when you want to compare Belichick, the greatest, to Andy Reid, Andy Reid come in as a head coach, turn a, 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 right. a team around. Yes, he does. Right there. You know what I mean? Philadelphia Eagles, 1999. You go right there to Kansas City, he drafts Mahomes intentionally yep. to be his quarterback. Yep. Not draft him in the fifth round yep. and something happened mistakenly. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a difference yeah. in coaching. It's a difference the way Andy Reid treat his players and, and love his and players. And sat him for a year to teach him. You know That's what I mean? Mahomes so great, he sat him for a year sat to teach him. And then you you got Belichick, Matt, Matt Jones does great his first year, goes to the uh, playoffs, and then you set him backwards. You bring him you know, a defense, a yeah. defensive coordinator to be the <laughs> offensive coordinator. Like these are the things that happen in New England that people don't never want to talk about. See the thing I tried to explain to y'all when I came into New England, I came in learning, looking, and I'm looking like, man, this guy was just teaching. He's snapping. This guy said he. I just talked to him. He just signed him. He ain't been working out, and he ain't worked out in a whole two months. But he's now he's starting on our team. Mm. How is that? All this crazy stuff he's trying to do, it ain't happening no more. I agree. I agree with you. I think without Tom Brady, he's he's barely a 500 winning coach. That's it. That's the stats. It's proof. That's stats. And, he's, and be, he's below average. And the last part about average. Belichick is, mm -hmm. yo, how is it that you're supposed to be so great? When I look at this team, now that time's going, I don't see no development in the players. Mac Jones, how you, you from this to that? That's what I'm saying. And when I look around the players, I don't I don't see no successful players. The successful players I see on the team as dudes that came from somewhere else, now they're there. Right. It ain't dudes you it ain't dudes that you're drafting and developing. And that you're developing. Oh. And then he signed, he, he signed, no shots, nobody, Juju Smith. He resigned uh Devontae uh Parker. Parker, you yep, know what yep, I mean? Yep, yep. Look at their stats, look at their separation, look at their <laughs> yeah, right, right. speed. How is that? Setting Mac Jones up to be successful. Yeah. These are the same things I used to argue about with Tom and telling people he's the best. Y'all don't understand he's the best. He's doing this with nothing and nobody. I'm here. I'm telling you the talent he has. You know, I ain't taking no shots there, but there's more top tier talent that he could get. And then when he finally get some okay talent at the later end of their career, a uh, Moss, a Dante Starr, yeah, right, 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 Moss right. is 32, 33. Setting records. Setting records with him. <laughs> no, he's not in his prime in his career. Imagine if Moss was in the prime in his career. Man, I'm telling you, y'all don't understand. Yeah. But, you know, everything must come to the light. And it is, man. That's all the inception, what we said, what need to be said. What you got anything else to say to him, Shady? I, I love it, man. Listen, man. Sante, one thing about Sante saying, but I will say this. Sometimes it may come off, come off when some of you say things is unpopular, but, but he's true, right? And, and I, I like that you say this. People are so brainwashed to see one way. They see you talk about, oh, Belichick. How do you talk about Belichick? It's not popular, right? But it's the truth. Mm -hmm. Even, even about the, the, the picks and, and, and interception and all that, like, there's truth to it. Because mm -hmm. you have stats to back it up. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I love people like that because I'm like that. And some people are like, oh, he tripping, right? Or right. he just that. But no, this is what I believe in. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. Right. You don't want to understand and believe it because it, it doesn't seem popular. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. I love that about you, though. That's why you want my main man, you know? Yeah. Why well, since he said that about the unpopular stuff, I, I, I forgot to touch on one situation. Get on. You know what I mean? I, uh, you know, I've been with my dog. We, we in the locker room. We in the trenches. We, we go to war. We're fighting reporters. We we go up against the, the, the Jacobs and the Giants. Yeah. But we're going to go to war. You right. know what I mean? We wait for my dog to come in. You know what I mean? Uh, but I see you on TV now. Yeah. And I'm like, who is this character, Shady? Who? Who, who is he, you know? Who, who, who you say you resemble, man, in this game? When you step into them lights on... I used to think it was ESPN, but it's Fox. Fox. Right? When you step in those lights, who, who you resemble, man? Who is who is the shady character? As far as, like, analysts? You yeah. Uh -huh. You know what? I, I'm, I, I love... Uh, he's a good friend of mine and helped me out with the media is uh, Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A. Smith. Uh, you know why? Because he's articulate, but also he's he has a cultural background that... Everybody can understand. So he can touch so many different audiences. Mm -hmm. And I love that. And he's honest. Some people don't like some things he say. Mm -hmm. right? right? You know what I mean? So it come off as, oh, I don't know what he's talking about. Are he tripping? Are he hating? Mm -hmm. That's the main thing, hating. Mm -hmm. No. 
I spoke about Justin Fields. Mm-hmm. I think he's a hell of a talent. Right. As a runner. Right. I didn't see you throw. You, you tell me in the NFL you throwing for 60 yards. I can't call you <laughs> a good quarterback. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Dak Prescott. They kill me about that. Oh, fans all around the world. Why are you talking about my Cowboys? And the first question I asked him is, I asked him, yo, what's the main position holding y'all back? Mm-hmm. And they whisper. Get what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so they're not being true to themselves. Yeah. So and that's what the problem I got with the world, you know. In life, if you don't stand for something, mm. you're going to fall for anything. Believe none of what you hear and half of what you see. Mm-hmm. That's the art of interception. We're going to say what needs to be said. We out, baby.